Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're back out of Emeryville, fishing out of San Francisco Bay. And this week we'll be back fishing aboard the New Huck Finn. We're fishing with our friend Jay. We're right outside the Farallon Islands. We're fishing right outside the Golden Gate Bridge. Came out here about a two hour ride. And today we'll be fishing the bottom, looking for rockfish, sling cod, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Bradley Smokers, when you only want the very best. Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. By Game Saver. Preserve your fish, use a Game Saver. And by Dan Hernandez Dipping Sauces and Fish Batter. Outside the middle Farallon, we call it the Pimple, and uh, we're just fishing uh, the, the the shelf right uh, on the the 30 fathom line. Cool. And what uh, what are we going to be looking for later this afternoon? What's the game? Plan? Uh, later this afternoon, once we get uh, around seven, eight rockfish per person, then we're going to go up toward the North Islands, uh, see if we can find some link cod. Skipper just made a move. I just dropped that big jig down to the bottom. Magic metal jig. Just stopped the boat right here. I got bit. I guess should have a nice one. I think I have a ling. I have a ling, Jay. Just take my time. He hit it really hard. I just barely got that jig at the bottom. Normally when I get to the bottom, I work it. This one, this one just slammed it. Here we got another fish here. What's your name? Oh, oh Rick just lost his. I think my dad's got one too. Take your time, Dad, you don't have to go fast. See, here he is. Oh no, not a ling. Oh, that's a nice. Is it salmon grouper? Yeah. Oh, it came off. All right, thanks. This is a salmon grouper I just caught using a magic metal jig, 10 ounce. It's a glow in the dark with the red. Just got that all the way straight down, the fish just slammed it. I'm not even sure I made it all the way to the bottom because that fish really hit it hard. It's a big, beautiful fish. Okay, well in California, the present law is you can keep two of these. So you got one more to catch. Let's take a look at what these other people are catching. It's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good size one. Yeah. Feel 
like that one. You'll make about five of these tacos. Yeah, there it is. There's another Johnny Bab. This week's Boat Bio is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and B-52 Bucktail Jigs. The new Huck Finn is a sport fisher operates daily out of Emeryville Sport Fishing up in the Bay Area. She's a big boat, has plenty of deck space for fishing, and carries a large supply of live bait. There's plenty of walk around space, and the galley is large enough to get the anglers out of the weather. The wheelhouse is equipped with all the modern electronics for fish finding, navigation, and communications. At Emeryville Sport Fishing, you can make your reservation and book your trip aboard the new Huck Fin today. Fish. <laughs> nice link. I uh, drove all the way up from LA to fish up here in San Francisco. Nice fish. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more action by the new Huck Finn up here out of Emeryville, California, Fairland Islands. We'll be right back. All right, that'd be a $10 third charge whale watching. that magic metal jig right on the bottom and I just got hit. I was just uh, cranking it up off the bottom a little bit trying to make it dart up. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winding nice and easy. You don't want to wind too fast because if you go too fast you can spin fish off. So I only have the jig on the bottom and then the bucktail up above with the gulp on it. I just wind nice and easy. Got 30 pound test line. Let's see what this is. Doesn't feel like a really huge fish, but might be a little nice size rockfish for this color. There it is. Let's see. There we go. Nice rockfish. Some magic metal jig, 10 ounce, glow in the dark with the red. What do you think? A nice one? Okay. Well, we're going to take a little break from the action here and go to the tackle box give you a good look at the rods and reels that we're using for today's fishing. This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by Cabela, America's foremost outfit.
This week in Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing up in the Bay Area. Now, we're doing a variety of fishing, fishing inside the bay, drifting for halibut, stripers. But the big thing is to go offshore to the Farallon Islands. Go look for those monster lingcods, huge rockfish that live out there. And even though we could be fishing in shallow water, we still want to use heavy gear because these lingcod can get big. I mean, it's nothing to catch a 30 pound link cod. Occasionally, they got link cod up to 50 pounds. So, you need to use heavy gear. Because of that, I'm using a larger contender reel like this, and it's got the lever drag. I'm using heavy line, you want to use 40, 50 pound uh, main line. You can use a little bit heavier leader if you want, 50, maybe even 80 pound leader on top of that. But you really have to use a heavy line going after these big fish. And the rod I'm using with this is an ugly stick tire rod. This rod's rated to fish 50, 60 pound test line. It works great for this type of fishing. Now you can use both live baits or artificial baits. I really enjoy fishing for lingcod with artificial baits. There's two basic baits you can use. A bucktail jig always works good. And if I was up there early morning or late in the day when there isn't much daylight, I'd use a glow in the dark. Because that glow in the dark bait at first light is deadly. But for today's fish, you can get out there a little bit later in the morning. So I'm going with the metal jig. Now the magic metals, you want to go a 10 ounce, 8 ounce model, depending on the depth, depending on the current. This may look like a big jig, but you'll see in today's fishing that these lingcod are so big and their mouths are so big that they can swallow a jig like this, like a french fry. It's really easy. Now the technique for this is very simple. When you're fishing a big jig like this, you can either hit the bottom and just crank really fast and make that jig dart up. Not all the way to the surface, just about two or three cranks, just to make it look like it's trying to escape from the link hut, they'll come up and attack it. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action out of the Bay Area here on Sport Fishing. My dad, he just caught this Johnny bass. Nice little fish. Not and bad. Not bad. Let's go get the big one, though. Yeah, no, we haven't got any link cod yet. No. Some of the guys are getting some link cod, but we haven't got those big monster ones that this area is known for. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action. We're going to go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious rockfish. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez dipping sauces and fish batters. Look for them in your local supermarket. This week in the galley, we're down in beautiful Rosarito, Mexico. We're at the Rosarito Beach Hotel, and standing next to me is Azalea. Thank you for inviting us down, Zara. Thank you for stopping by our, our re resort. Sir. It's a beautiful resort. I've been here many times in the past. Great fishing here, too, but today we're going to do a fish dish. And who's our chef that we have today? Our chef is Eriberto. He's the Chopard's restaurant chef for the gourmet. Good. Okay, so I see he's got a rockfish for us today. And what is he going to do with this rockfish? Okay, we're going to have it uh, done with the cilantro sauce. It's rock cod with the cilantro. And if you're not sure what rock cod looks like, this is one here that has done a different style. This one was deep fried, but our chef has a different treat for us in store today. And what's really nice about this fish is this is a local fish you can catch right here in Baja, Mexico, even up in California, local That's rock cod. Right. A lot of our viewers catch these fish all the time. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of salt okay. and pepper. A little pepper. Yeah, to season the rock cod. And he's also going to put a few drops of lime to it. Yeah, I love using lime and lemon all the time. Yeah, we also do. Okay, 
you know, he's gonna go ahead and put it in a pan. ¿Cuánto tiempo se cocina esto, chef? It just takes from two to three minutes to have it ready. One thing about rock cod, what's really nice about it is very white meat. You can do lots of stuff with it. But like the chef said, you don't want to cook it too long. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make with a fish like rock cod is they cook it way too long. You can see how fast this is cooking. Yes, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's going really That's fast. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is a very simple dish to do. What I like about recipes like this is something somebody can do at home. And this is what I was talking about, the rock cod. It's so versatile, you can use a bunch of different sauces. Now I know the chef here has a sauce for us to put on top of this. And what yes, is that? That's, great. that's the cilantro sauce. Uh, like I told you, it has olive oil, cilantro, a little bit of salt and pepper and lime. And what he did was took all those ingredients and just threw it in a blender and mixed it yes, up? Yes, that's Food simple. Processor? That's simple. You just blend them and that's it. It's ready. Cool. So it looks like we're all done with the cooking the fish? Uh, yes, it is ready. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And this is the chef's assistant? Yes, that's correct. Her name is Maritza and she's Maritza. helping today. Okay, cool. So he's actually going to fry up the cilantro sauce. What's neat about cilantro sauce is cilantro is just one of those natural ingredients from Mexican culture. And we use it all the time cooking. My mom used to cook it all the time with cilantro, oregano, stuff like that. And it's nice to add this to a dish here. But he just heated it up a tiny bit. Yeah, just a little bit of heat into it. And it looks delicious. Yeah, it does. Mm. Here's a finished dish. I have to try this. Yes. How is that it That is going? so good. It That's is? really good. Thank you. Thank you for coming and thanks Thank to you, the chef. chef who made it possible. Very nice. Very simple dish, just a little bit of time on, you know, cooking it with a little bit of heat. The cilantro sauce is great, and I've never seen a cilantro sauce where it was heated like that and then put on top of the fish. It came out really nice. And we're down here at the Rosarita Beach Hotel down here in northern Baja, only about 40 minutes from the border from San Diego. Just a nice, great place to come on down. Come do some local fishing and come see the chef and order a dish at the kitchen here. Beautiful dish. Well, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with a lot more action right here on Sport Fishing. Very nice. Getting toward the end of the day, and we're on the, really close to the north end of the island, uh, the North Island. And I switched over to a six ounce B52 with a piece of gulp and much lighter outfit, 20 pound test. If you see me fish for with calico bass, small yellowtail up north, I me mean down south. I'm using up here at the Fairlawn Highlands for rockfish. This might be a lean cod, might be a little lean cod. see. Little ling, short ling, the short ling. Oh no, it's a cabazon. Not a ling cod. This one's legal, right? Yeah, that's the cabazon. Legal cabazon. See the B52 bucktail and a bulk gulp bait right here. That's what that fish ate. I thought it was a ling cod down there at yeah. first. Yeah, they fight the same. Mm -hmm. They shake their heads and all yeah, that stuff. These are good eating fish too, right? Oh, There's a purple one there. Yeah. yeah. Around the cabbie hole. Must be a cabbie hole. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I caught these fish today. You know, we had really good fishing on the rockfish, but all we had was those little tiny anchovies. And the way I caught my fish was to use a large jig. This was a Magic Metal 10 ounce jig. Worked out really good. Caught everything on it, rockfish, cabazon, 
He even caught a couple of nice link cuts, and this is what it caught him on, just fishing right on the bottom, winding it up really fast, and then letting it flutter down. Sometimes the fish hit it on the way up. Most of the fish got it, it was flooding right down toward the bottom. It was just a great way to catch fish today. Well, I want to thank our skipper, Jay. Hey, Jay, thanks for taking thank us out you. today. We had a great time. He's the owner-operator of the New Huck Fin, operates daily out of Emeryville Sport Fishing, and uh, people want information about you. I know you don't have a website, but you can call the landing. Call the landing, and uh, they'll tell you what we've been catching, and they can book a trip. Yeah. And your season pretty much is what, spring, fall, uh, summer? Uh, uh, spring to, uh, to fall. And early in the season is usually in the bay? Yeah, normally early in the season, uh, April, May, uh, June, even. June, we're inside. And then um, as uh, the late summer and fall, then we started rock fishing in Lincoln. Now we've been fishing with Jay several years. This is the fourth year we've been with him. The great fishing, my friends have been fishing him with that over 10 years. Oh, 20, Steve, 25 yeah, years. Yeah. yeah, and they were telling me for years and years to come, we've had great trips with them. We never had a bad trip. In the past, you've seen us fish in the bay with Jay fishing for our halibut and stripers. We've done several years now offshore. Nice lean cod, always awesome rock fishing. Yeah. Just great fishing. Well, thanks a lot, Jay. Thank Have a great you. time. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez for Jay, the crew of the New Huck Fin, and everybody here at Sport Fishing. Hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. <laughs>